Hello YouTube, Cameron here. I'm back at the farmer's home again and it's got a prohibition era whiskey. At least I think it's prohibition era based on the Canadian maker's mark and the, the fact it doesn't say for or forbid. Holy shit, that's a good one though. Old Man River Whiskey. There's a steamboat on it. Oh my god, that's so cool. It's a pictorial. Whoa. Oh my god, I'm gonna stop soon. My goal was to dig at least until I got one bottle good enough for my collection and I did. So I'll dig just to make sure there's nothing right next to it. I'm in a patch of a lot of whole bottles and I'll be back. I got a decent bottle, but unfortunately I have a better version already. This is the Feather Law Forbids version, and I have the pre feather Law version of this. So I'm not going to keep that. Well, I'll take a break and then I'll keep digging because I have a few more bottles in the hole that I'm stopping. Once I have no more bottles in the hole. I'm in a really good patch right now. I just filmed a review, but I accidentally clicked retake instead of to add to the video. So I'll have to start over. Let's get started. I'll try not to rush it, even though I already filmed this, so it's kind of exhausting. But anyway, first there's this uh, medical bottle. It says on the bottom, it's a med cutter standard. I don't know, it would have been a reusable kind of medicinal bottle, if I'm not mistaken. I could not find much information on it, other than the cutter made glassware for medical purposes, like laboratories and such. Yep. Not sure what I'm going to keep them on. These all date, these all date to the 1930s, by the way. Then there's this Lentheric bottle. It's pretty nice. I've already dug one of these in better condition, except this one has the original stopper, which I'll show in a moment. And you can see it has a little bit of a label, which I'm probably not going to save, because it's really very little bit. Not even readable. But yeah, so that's about 1930s. Perfumer cologne, I think perfume. And has the original stopper, which is actually made out of lead. I can tell by the weight. Fortunately, it's partially damaged, as you can see, but... Pretty cool, it still has the original cork around it. Yep, pretty nice. And there's the logo on the top. Yep, and this is the best find. It's Prohibition Era bootleg. It is old man, and it dates to about 1930, because that's the date on the bottom, actually. Made by Dominion Glass Works in Canada. As you can see, it says made in Canada right there. Has some wear and some staining, but no chips or cracks, so that's good. It's old man river whiskey. It has this awesome steamboat scene on it. Look at that. And this is the same company that made Silver Dollar Whiskey and Golden Wedding Whiskey, both, both of which are, were brought here during the Prohibition, of which I've, I've dug actually a Golden Wedding Prohibition era, but I didn't end up keeping it, because they're kind of common. But I did keep, I found a shot glass from Silver Dollar Whiskey, which dates to the early 1900s, a collapsible shot glass. But I'll show you my Prohibition era bootleg whiskeys, and I guess I'll show my medicinal ones too. Now, hey guys, here I am. Let's get started. Some of it's mixed in, so I might not get everything, but there's the Old Man River up there. I'm filming this, by the way, a few months later because I intentionally space out my videos so that way I can upload regularly. Because if I upload my videos more free, as soon as I film them, I would, there would be long gaps in between videos sometimes, and I'd rather just space them out and then upload with an equal amount of space between them. Let's see, where are the other bootleg ones? Oh, there's a medicinal whiskey back there, Gibson's. Uh, there's a night, probably like 1910s, but it could be Prohibition era. It could be bootleg over there. It's a brunette gin. Let's see what else. So I have to kind of hunt for it. It's not completely sorted. Uh, let's see. There's a Fleischmann's back there, but that's not bootleg. It could be medicinal though, if I remember correctly. Then there's a, uh, that one's not bootleg, but I have another carnival glass one of the same bottle somewhere that is bootleg. I presume it doesn't say prohibition, but it's prohibition error. Uh, there's one back there, which I believe may be prohibition error, but I'm not sure. That frosted glass Gordon's one. This is probably a back bar bottle. Let's see what else. I'm sorry, I have to spot them all. I, I should have looked for them in advance before starting filming, but I didn't. My bad. But you're getting to see a bit of my collection in the process, so that's not so bad. There's plenty of stuff to see. 
Plenty of interesting stuff to see. Well, that's Prohibition Era that boosts gin, but it's bootleg. This is Prohibition Era from England. Boots high, dry, high and dry gin. Let's see what else. Sorry, it's just all kind of mixed. You need to see a bit of my collection in the process, though, so that's, as I said, not too bad. Uh, here's a bootleg back there, that Four Aces Whiskey, which is pretty nice. It has all those, like, ace cards, playing cards on it. And that's pretty nice. Uh, there's more somewhere. Uh, sorry, I'm having trouble spotting it. There's one more that I know about, you know, there's, oh, there's a medicinal, I think that's Federal Alphabet, even though it's early Federal Alphabet. There's this chicken cock whiskey right here, which is actually also made by the same company as Golden Wedding Silver Dollar and Golden River, if I remember correctly. Which is also bootleg. Chicken cock pure value whiskey. Nice. And there may be more, there's probably, there's definitely more somewhere in here. I'm just having trouble spotting it right now. No, no, it's here. So, yeah, that's all for now. Bye. Be back with the review. Yep, pretty cool, but this is an awesome find. I always love these. They love, a lot of the Prohibitionary whiskeys that are brought over from Canada have nice pictorial designs on them. Yeah. Beautiful. And as I said, it's 1930s, so late Prohibition, but still Prohibition. And that's all. Hope you enjoyed. Bye. Time to steam away. Choo-choo. Wrong noise, that's the train.